This video demonstrates and compares multivariate and univariate analysis techniques for neuroimaging data with applications to Alzheimer's diagnosis. First, brain activity from 20 early Alzheimer's patients and 20 age-matched healthy controls is contrasted. For the univariate analysis, SPM is used to identify the brain region that shows the largest relative deficit in FTG PET signal in the Alzheimer's patients relative to control subjects. For the multivariate analysis, Principal Components Analysis with Linear Discriminant Analysis is used to derive the marker. Results indicate that the multivariate marker provides better diagnostic performance than the univariate marker and gives superior generalization to independent data. Hello, I'm Christian Habeck from the Taub Institute in the Department of Neurology at Columbia University Medical Center. Today, we will show you an example of multivariate data analysis of neuroimaging data. We use this procedure in our lab to study the optimal way of detecting early Alzheimer's disease from neuroimaging data. So let's get started. Let's begin with a conceptual overview of multivariate analysis of neuroimaging data. Multivariate approaches evaluate the correlation of activity across brain regions, rather than proceeding on a voxel-by-voxel -voxel basis as is done with univariate analysis. For example, we can picture a simple hypothetical dataset for 50 human participants where only three regions, denoted as voxels, in the brain were measured. The general aim of multivariate analysis is to identify the major sources of variance in the data and then to describe the main effects of interests in the data in terms of these sources of variance. Univariate analysis does not pay attention to the correlation between voxels. Both panels seen here would be treated in an identical manner by univariate.